Welcome back to the Sips Loud channel. So Cardi B is posting that she is about to release some more music and it's given. Okay, listen y'all, she gave a preview of the lyrics and it's not given what she said it was, okay? I can hardly, well should I say, barely hear what Cardi B is trying to say in her raps. And at this point, I think Cardi B needs a vocal coach. Someone who could at least help her to pronounce these words good because... It's not given, I can hear you. It's given, what is wrong with my ears? Am I hearing correctly? And this is the same girl that won a Grammy over Nikki. I'm not going to question it anymore. I think the Grammys are rigged because I don't know how could that ever make sense. And for the people who have been continuously saying, Nikki is not selling out shows. I think because Nikki keeps disappointing the haters so much, they really have to be delusional to run with a false narrative because they want Cardi B to look good. And like I said so many times, Cardi B says she's going to put out an album this year. I can't wait. I'm so excited because I want to see Cardi B sell out some shows. Okay, probably she's going to team up with her hubby Offset and that's how they kind of make money together because Offset being solo, he's not really happening like this industry is not really in love with Offset at this point. You see, I said it a lot of times. Cardi is beautiful. She is somewhat talented to be an entertainer, but not a rapper. And I found it so very confusing. How could Jason Lee get on Wild and Out and disrespect Nicki as the worst rapper of the century, but not being so considerate that Cardi B is not really a rapper. Cardi is your friend and you can't tell her to quit rap. Make it make sense. I'm not I'm not a hater. I'm just someone who visualizes everything the correct way. If someone doesn't sound good, they just don't. Like there are songs that Cardi B has, you know, rapped before that sounded good in a, you know, moderate way, but like I like it like that song, it was good. I'm not sure if she wrote it or another person wrote it, but I'm just saying that song was good. But you could slowly see or you know what? Not slowly. It's easier to see that Cardi is not a rapper. It's it's very easy. I don't think I'll be in a crowd and go, yay, to see Cardi B because I could predict what she's going to do. Shake ass, bust a split, uh, talk about her coochie, coochie, coochie. She's going to rhyme apple with waffle and zero with her Migo. You know, her songs are so predictive. It's like nursery rhymes. So I don't think it's given. And the hypocrites that are in the comment section was like, oh my God, girl, you better drop this now. Drop what? Drop what? That was not a good preview of the song. It's given what the hell was Atlantic Records thinking. But y'all know, Nikki said they wanted to uh, bring in a new competition and, and they failed. Nikki said it, they would have failed. And I don't know what they're doing, but Cardi B, go and star in some movies, girl. Because this music industry is, is not for you, period. But let us know what y'all think about Cardi B. Hinting that she's going to drop music back to back this year. Let us see that comment section and who's going to see Cardi B on her tour. Let us know what y'all think. Click that like button, hit that notification bell and see y'all next time. And thank you for sipping with us.